Okay, just a quick video on uh, problem I was having with this golf cart. Didn't seem to uh, want to run correctly. Last year, season I uh, had to replace the magneto and at the same time I replaced the spark plug too. And I think this, this golf cart had about a total of five hours on it all of last season. So it had some old gas in it. Um, I thought it might be a carburetor problem. So I pulled the carb, cleaned the carb, soaked it in acetone, put it through the ultrasound and uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And it seemed to run better, but I kept having intermittent problems. And it wouldn't necessarily idle at all. And uh, it would start backfiring when I hit the accelerator too quickly. But I don't know if I can see, show you this or not. So the spark plug looked normal. I went back and rechecked the gap on it. And you kind of see it right there. There's this insulator and the electrode. The insulator actually moves ever so slightly. And it was shorting out and grounding intermittently. And it was acting like a carb problem because it was actually flooding the uh, flooding the cylinder out. So it would occasionally ignite and would pop off, but then there would be excess fuel in the exhaust, and that would cause the backfiring. So this isn't necessarily in the, uh, <laughs> the troubleshooting guides out there, so I thought I'd mention it. It's not easy to see. I just got lucky and happened to notice it when I was rechecking the gap. Um, but it's one of those things that can drive you nuts. It's, you know, odd, an odd occurrence, especially with a fairly new spark plug. So anyway, good luck.